You guys, I don't know how this happened. Well, I kind of do know how this happened, but I'm not on the cruise that I thought I was going to be on. I was sitting here actually editing the first video here and all of a sudden we're sailing away. I totally missed it. Oh, and look at how close I am to the water. It is just like being in a submarine. I thought it would be like that. What do you think? Is this cool or is it kind of weird? I mean, I'm literally standing underwater right now. I'm just gonna try to not think about what would happen if we ran into something sharp and pointy. I'm Morgan from the very unofficial travel guides. I travel all around the world to popular and not so popular tourist destinations to give you a very honest, unofficial look at what it was like to be there. I also wrote a book with some crazy travel stories in it, all true stories of things that have happened to me around the world. It's called Getting Stitches on a Cruise Ship. It's available on Amazon now. And actually, this is not the way I wanted this video to start. But like I said, the sailing away kind of caught me by surprise. The name of the river cruise ship I'm on is called the MS Viva Tiara. I'm not going to say it this time. I made it to Frankfurt, Germany from my hometown of Hamburg, Germany. I took the train here this morning, walked around, got some lunch, and then I took the, the U-Bahn, the subway here to the ship. If you want to see about all that, it's in the first video. So you can find the playlist or search in my library or check the links. You know how YouTube works. I don't know why people keep trying to explain to other people how YouTube works. We know by now. And I kind of want to get this video edited, but I also want to go out and see. I'm going to go upstairs. Should we go upstairs? One of the most unexpectedly exciting things for me on my last river cruise, which was my only other river cruise, was how much fun I had or how much I just enjoyed sitting on the deck and watching the world go by, especially at night. It's like, you know, with the lights and not knowing when the next city's coming or what's gonna what's gonna come. It's almost like being on a like a, a dark boat ride at Disney or Universal or something. I mean of course, there's no drops. Hopefully there's no drops. But I just, yeah, I just love to sit up here and watch the world go by. Some water slides in a casino would be fine as well, but sometimes it's okay if it's a little bit more chill. And one of the most quote unquote exciting things that happens is going under a bridge. And we're about to do it. Let's see if we can get some waves. Wave. Wave, come on. Yay, we got a wave. How many different modes of transportation can we get in one shot? There's an airplane, the train, and a boat. Oh, and some cars. Oh, here comes the bridge. Are we gonna make it? I don't think I'm gonna have to duck. If I jumped, I could touch it. First bridge. comes are we gonna make it are we gonna have to duck you literally do have to duck sometimes a crew member will come up here to the top and say everybody sit down i don't think this is going to be one of these times but uh it is pretty close oh i could definitely touch this bridge it is very close i'm not going to try to touch it though the next one here is a little bit higher it's just so cool to be like this close to stuff like that. I don't know. Free entertainment on board. And now I think I am going to go back down to my cabin to do a little bit more editing before... Now oh, I just got a really bad static shock from the railing here. I'm going to do a little bit more editing before the cocktail hour and dinner time. Back down 
in the cabin, like I said, and there were just some, I know some boats or some paddlers going by and it was kind of cool to be so close to them. You just don't usually, you don't usually see the water from this angle unless you're swimming, you know what I mean? Here's my little setup. And I don't know, maybe, is it time for some Prosecco? Is it time for a cold beer? It is after six o'clock. I'm just worried that if I do have a beer or a glass of Prosecco that it's gonna make me really sleepy because I'm already really sleepy. This is what I love about river cruising. Just being up here and watching. I mean, on ocean cruises you have beautiful sunsets too, but I don't know, there's just something more picturesque about this. And also, I don't know. It's also kind of calming to know that we could just easily swim to shore if we had to, even though I never really think about that. Do you? And there's another bridge coming, but this one is pretty high. Ooh, let's see if we can get some waves. No, those guys aren't gonna wave. Oh, they did wave. Yay, two waves. Transportation. Yeah, this bridge, not even close. Not even if I had a broom. Maybe with a big trampoline and the right timing. But do you see how they have like, there's certain things that they take down just in case we do go under a really low bridge. That's one interesting thing about river cruises. Welcome to Late Night Cocktail Cam, a tradition that I don't remember when it started, but it's the part of the video where I tell you about all the stuff that I couldn't show you about in the video, and do I have something to tell you? And I'm getting to it, so just keep watching. I'm just cuddling up here into bed in my cabin. Duh, where else would I be cuddling up into bed? I'm just cuddling up into bed here on the pool deck. Morgan. I actually did end up taking a nap this afternoon after the end of the last video. I sat down, started editing the video together. And as always, when I'm listening to my voice talk and talk and talk, it just makes me sleepy, so. I ended up laying down and then I almost missed dinner. Before dinner, there was like a get together in the lounge where we met the cruise director and I missed meeting some of the other officers, but the cruise director did his speech. And so far, everybody that I have spoken with on board has spoken English with me. And the cruise director at the beginning of his spiel asked, uh, all right, show of hands, who here can only speak English and not German? And I kind of looked around, and because nobody else raised their hand, I didn't raise my hand either. Remember, I can speak German, but I wanted to, or I, I'm testing this cruise line to see how English-friendly it is. So far, everything's been very English-friendly, but he said, all right, well, if nobody... If nobody only speaks English here, then I'm just going to do all these speeches in German because otherwise it takes a lot longer. He did tell me later, though, that if there are a lot of English-speaking English speaking guests on board, then he will do the announcements in both languages. Or if it's just a smaller group, then he always sets up like a separate... Uh, 
second meeting or a separate meeting with the English speakers to make sure that they know what's going on and have time to ask questions and stuff like that. So that's how they do it here. And to tell you the truth, on some of the ocean cruises I've done in the Mediterranean as well, it's been exactly the same way. So I guess that's that's not really a big deal. But of course, we're not in the Mediterranean right now. And we're also not on the Mine River. <laughs> so you guys, I don't know how this happened. Well, I kind of do know how this happened, but I'm not on the cruise that I thought I was going to be on. I am on the ship, of course, the Miss Viva Tiara. We all knew that was coming, but I'm on a different route than I thought that I was going to be on. It's kind of like how some of the ships that leave Miami, they do like Eastern Caribbean and then they come back to Miami and then they do Western Caribbean and then they come back to Miami. It's exactly the same thing. I thought I was doing the four day mine river cruise, but I'm doing the four day Rhine river cruise. And I think the way that I messed it up is because on the site that I book my cruises on this discount website, there's certain things that kind of show up every day. They pop up and then they disappear depending on how many things get booked. It's for people working in the travel industry like pilots, uh, travel agents, uh, flight attendants and things like that. You have to get verified as somebody working in the travel industry and then you can book like last minute deals and stuff over this website. Anyway, so the, the deals change there every day and I booked this four night cruise here on the Viva Tiara and I guess I I don't know I, I had been looking at several different cruises and different dates and then I booked this one and I thought it was the one on the Main River going to Würzburg and then when I sat down to do the video the Sunday sofa time where I told you all about what cruise this was going to be, I just went back to the normal Viva Cruises website and searched for a four-day cruise from Frankfurt, assuming that they're all the same. So I looked at all those ports again. I also did a little bit of research about what I wanted to see in those ports. And then when I got on the ship today and the cruise director started talking about the excursions, I was like, huh? Strasbourg? When are we going to be in Strasbourg? So, <laughs> yeah, I'm on a different cruise than I thought I was going to be on, but it's really not that big of a deal at all. It's I didn't do like a ton of research. There wasn't anything in the other cities on the other route that I was like really, really looking forward to. You know, it had been different if I had booked like private tour guides in every stop that I had to pay for and cancel or whatever, but I didn't. So that's fine. I guess there's maybe just two more highlights to tell you about tonight. One of them is dinner was really good. I wasn't really into the vegetarian um, starter. So as my starter, I chose the cheese plate, which is actually a dessert. And it was a very small kind of just dainty, tiny little delicate cheese plate. But you know what? that's okay too. Why do portions have to be so big that you either have to painfully stuff yourself to finish it or that part of it gets thrown away? Why does it have to be like that? I'm fine with a mini cheese plate. And then my entree was uh, like a crunchy bowl of falafel surrounded by some vegetable curry. And it was really good. It was really good. I just keep thinking of how inexpensive, how affordable this cruise line is. And to think that this is the, the quality that they offer. It's just, it's great. I'm very, very impressed. My dessert was some kind of white chocolate mousse. And once again, it was a very small portion, but for me, it was enough. I still left feeling stuffed, even though I didn't get, you know, like a huge blob of lava cake or a huge blob of cheesecake or something like that. I, I was talking with the woman who's sitting next to me in the main dining room, you know, saying when they brought this little dessert, I said, you know, on a lot of other ships, people would laugh at the size of this dessert. They would say that it's like a tester portion 
but this was the entire portion. It was very thick and it was very rich. So, you know, it all worked out fine. And if the food tonight is kind of the standard of what the quality is going to be like for the next few nights, then hey, this is going to be absolutely fine. After dinner, uh, there was a little bit of live music in the lounge with a guy playing the guitar with some backup tracks and singing. It was good. And I spent a little bit of time up on the deck. It started raining again, so I had to kind of go down to the very front where it's covered. But then where I was sitting there, you couldn't really see the water, so it wasn't ideal. But it's just so nice to sit out there and watch the world go by. And I wish I could tell you where we're going to be tomorrow, but like I said, I, I messed it all up. And I did read the schedule now, but I can't remember, and I am not getting out of bed again. I'm sorry. But if you watch the next video, you will know. So make sure you're subscribed, press that thumbs up before I go to bed, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't freak out. You're still watching the very unofficial travel guides, but I'm about to give you actual facts. This is exactly what I need right now. And I'm about to say the first negative thing that I've said about this experience so far, and that is 